In this video, I'm going to go over how to find a monthly cash flow. So the scenario is Rachel nets $3,000 per month. She spends $50 per week in groceries. Her monthly bills include $50 for internet, $9 for Netflix, $200 for utilities, and $82 for cell service. And we're told to find her monthly cash flow. In order to find her monthly cash flow, I'm going to set up a small budget with all incomes listed uh, on the left side of the budget and all of the expenses on the right side of the budget. So as you can see, Rachel only has one income up here. It's $3,000 per month. So I will mark $3,000 as her income. And for expenses, we can see Rachel has one, two, three, four, five expenses. What's nice about some of these expenses is we know that they are monthly bills. And when we come up with a budget, you want to create um, all of your uh, expenses and income as monthly values. So with these, we can just write down 50, we can write down nine for the Netflix, we can write down uh, 200 for the utilities, we can write down 82 for the cell service. So these numbers underlined here. The final uh, cost or expense that Rachel has is groceries. So $50 per week of groceries is not a monthly amount. So we will always assume for the purposes of my videos that there are four weeks in a month. So to find the monthly expense, we will need to multiply this amount by four to get the monthly amount of $200 per week, or sorry, per month. And it might help too if you go through and label all of your expenses like this so you can keep all of your bills um, separate. All right, so we have the mini budget set up here. How do you find the monthly cash flow? Well, the monthly cash flow is simply just going to be the total income minus the total of the expenses. It turns out the total for the expenses is $541. So the total income, take away the total expenses, will leave you with two thousand four hundred and fifty nine dollars